So you just bought Rainbow Six Siege in the Ubisoft sale for $30, an absolute steal. And now I'm going to show you guys some tips and tricks on gun skill um, and just some settings that you can hit right off the bat to improve your game and your awareness of casual and ranked matches. So let's dive in and see what this game has to offer. Alright, so before we get into the actual menu tips and the operators, I want to show you guys how it plays. It plays like every other FPS shooter that I've played, except for some little quirks. It has the ability to lean in and out of corners, which is used effectively in this game. You must always be trying to do that more than just jumping into a lane and shooting, because the kill time in this game is very, very quick. Number one rule, aim for the head. Headshots are usually one hit, unless you're shooting with a pistol from very far away, um, and team usage using the right operators and playing with five people instead of just playing with yourself having a nice squad behind you that you can communicate with is absolutely essential in this game although it plays and feels like call of duty in terms of movement it does play a little bit slower because of that kill time you get killed very very quickly so without further ado let us get into the menu the operators and some of the tips just off the start to show you guys how you can initially start your game off better so let's break down Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege. Now I'm not going to go into too much detail as this game has a lot of detail in how to play it. There is just leaps and bounds more in this than any of the Call of Duties. A lot of, um, you know, the operators have different gadgets and you can reinforce breakable walls. You can close out doorways with barricades. Lots of stuff to consider that I will go into detail when I start to identify the operators in specific specific videos. I'm going to go over all of the operators, both attackers and defenders in their own videos so that you guys can get the best tips and tricks on how to properly use these operators skills and um, you know how to pair them with other people that you're playing with. If somebody chooses um, Thatcher for that matter, uh, you probably want to uh, consider protecting your mute just because the Thatcher is good at taking out mute and other devices that defenders have set up. So I will go into detail about all of that in their own videos. But before we get into that, I'm just going to break down some of the overall menu tips and some little suggestions that can improve your game in both ranked and casual online play. So obviously, that being said, there is no campaign in this game. It is broken down into multiplayer, which is against other people on their consoles or terrorist hunt which is you and maybe some friends going in against um, computer AIs which on the highest difficulty can be pretty hard and it is pretty fun it also is a great way to get um, just that renown renown is what you use in the top right corner there the little yellow tickets that can be used to unlock both operators and to unlock um, different things for their loadouts I will also go through their loadouts in future videos for the specific class on how how to improve the guns whether you should be using the ACOG whether you should be using um, your reflex sites which ones are better and which the community has identified as better for those specific weapons I will get into that in future videos but to start off let's break out casual and ranked ranked you have to be level 20 to get into and it's better to play with teams of five or four three you can sometimes get away with but because this is such a communication based game and heavily team relied on um, if you go in by yourself or even with two sometimes you won't party up with your teammates and if you're playing a team of five who are all talking and um, organizing which operators they're going to be using for an effective team strategy on defense or attack you will get slaughtered not even just based on gun skill but just based on the fact that they have the proper operators set up together as a group um, and they're very very hard to beat so that being said, if you're by yourself, play casual, but um, casual, you know, you're going to find your team kills and people killing themselves, uh, which kind of, you know, can ruin the experience. But for the most part, I found it's pretty good. But when you can, if you can get a team of five and party up with them, definitely play ranked for the most fun. Now, how the game plays, obviously, 
are the attacking and defending operators. I won't go into too much detail, but basically in rank, or let's say in casual first, it goes up to three rounds. Each round, you're either going to be attacking or defending with your team of five. You want to select the best operator. When you don't have operators at the start, when you first bought the game, um, you want to get good with multiple operators simply because if you only have smoke unlocked, for example, and somebody selects them at the start of the round on your team, you can no longer use it. It's one operator per team. Um, and once someone on your team has selected it, you can no longer select that operator. So obviously having a few that you are good with that you favorite um, is ideal. So practice with most of them. And also, so casual is going to go up to three rounds attacking and defending alternating every time and ranked is going to go up to four um, maybe five if you get to a 3-3 tie. If you get to a 3-3 tie, an overtime starts in which everything is reset, a new attacker, a new defender um, is uh, chosen, and in ranked, you get to select your spawn point if you're attackers, and you get to select what, you're, what room you want to defend if you are on the defense. You can only defend a room once if you win. If you win the defense, uh, you can no longer select it until overtime. Overtime resets all of that and you can reselect the room. What you want to do is familiar yourself, uh, familiarize yourself with all the rooms, uh, the callouts, and which rooms are easier to defend, which you will learn over time. Uh, e rooms are easier to defend with less breakable walls that you have to reinforce, um, and just strategies that you learn over time with the team uh, that creates easier rooms than others so that is the strategy I will get into more detail about that when I get into the specific operators I will show you tons of gameplay on you know which walls you should be barricading um, say if you're a mirror and where you should be putting your mirrors so that all those details I will get into in future videos but just off the start that is the basic premise of the game and how it plays with these operators some of these operators are paired for counters for example if someone takes mute you want to probably on the other team you want to probably be a thatcher you don't know until the start of the game the game begins with a drone um on the attackers have drones to look for the bomb and identify which uh operators the enemy team has chosen so you never really know but if you have a team of five uh like i said there's i will get into future videos but you do have certain operators that you want to pair with others in your team for example you want to have a breaching operator on your team at least uh, whether that be thermite or ash um, and you want to have something that can maybe identify where people are so maybe you want to have a twitch on your team as well maybe you want to have someone that has a shield so mount montane um, or you can get your uh, blitz right so these are how the game is played and why it's so team oriented but before we get into any of that in future videos the one thing I want to add before we close out this kind of initial noob tip video on what the game consists of is in the settings once you familiarize yourself with the game you're gonna learn which maps you don't like which um, there's bomb diffusal there's um, uh, there's hostage situations there's um, biohazard situations different styles of gameplay but all rely on attacking and defending um, and a lot of people will disengage hostage situation for a very crucial um element and that is if you kill the hostage you lose uh and for operators such as fuse uh who detonates uh bouncing grenades into rooms through walls you definitely don't want to have that operator when you're playing hostage so a lot of people just eliminate hostage altogether. you can also eliminate secure area or bomb um, but we tend to keep both of those on because those are the only other game modes that you can play then you can go through your map preferences if you don't like specific maps turn them off and match find your will not put you in there so that is the um, the tip that I want to give you guys in terms of the the menu settings and then what you want to do is go over to your control settings and if you take a look you have your vertical and horizontal sensitivity and then you have your dead zone um, kind of if you want to have your joysticks have a bigger dead zone so that you can move the joystick without actually moving your character but definitely leave aim assist on and um, aiming down sight sensitivity also you can adjust that's when you are ADS with your scope so a couple little uh, little 
options for you here in the settings but otherwise that is the game that is the premise of the game and if you want to tune in to the actual skill videos for each operator i will have those coming in future videos as we um, start to familiarize ourselves with these classes now that i have them all unlocked i will show you guys one by one how to play each operator and how to perform best with each operator's gadgets and just play style some are more roaming uh, and uh, others are you're supposed to camp the room they're a high defense class that is supposed to stay next to the hostage or next to the bomb and really defend the room that that is in so we will get into that in future videos but as always guys i hope you guys enjoyed it we are going to have a little r6 series on the channel and i think it's a great game if you don't have it and you're tired of call of duty you need a little bit of a break definitely jump over to this game even though it's in season two it's a fantastic game so as always guys i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you like the video drop a a thumbs up if you want to see more comment what you want to see in the comment section below and we will get that up for you on the channel asap so as always guys until the next video stay on the bean you do you live life your way because that's the way it's meant to be cheers your beauties